I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data analytics and data engineering. In this episode, we're going to go back to our data engineering playlist and we're going to talk a little bit about comparing lists and specifically how to compare lists in SQL Server uh, so that you can tell uh, which items are in one list but not in another list in a query. So if you've got a table and you've got another table and you want to know which items are in one table but not in the other or vice versa uh, or which ones are in both tables then you'll be able to do that and that's what we call uh, comparing lists. So without further ado let's get to our comparing lists query. Okay so for this uh, example I created a table just so that you have this information up front. I created two simple tables with an ID and a name of a fruit in it and we're going to compare which fruits are in one table and not in another and vice versa. And so if you want to recreate this uh, example you can use this script here. And if I go back and I select the top thousand rows as we would in our SQL Server Management Studio uh, if we select our top thousand from our fruit one, we'll get our, our entries that we created. You know, apple, banana, cherry, orange, tangerine, and peach. And if I flip over to uh, our second table that we created, you'll see that it's a different list. Um, and uh, not all of those items are in the first table and vice versa. And so the question is, how do we, how do, we do this? How do we you know, select from one table all of and show all the ones in one table that are not in another table and so in order to do that uh, we can go ahead and we'll start our select statement and uh, we're going to select uh, initially from our first table uh, which is uh, fruit one so I'm not going to choose any fields just yet I'll say uh, from fruit one and I'm going to give this the alias uh, one so note that I'm using a table alias here for fruit one. I'm just going to call it one. And then uh, what we'll do is we're going to use a left join because uh, this is how we, uh, how we can find what's in one list and not in the other is when we do a left join which typically shows all the rows in one table and only the rows in the second table that match. And so I'll say fruit two and I'll give it the alias two and then I'll say uh, we're going to join on uh, one dot fruit equals two dot fruit. So we're going to look at the names of fruit in there, and uh, we're going to uh, do a comparison and see uh, what we get out of that. So you can see there's fruit table uh, fruit one and fruit two, and then we can select from either of those tables. And just to demonstrate, I will uh, I'll get the fruit name from both tables uh, from our query just so that you can see uh, how this works. So we've got one dot fruit and two dot fruit using our table aliases there uh, from fruit one with the left join uh, between the two and that gives us a nice little list here and you can see uh, where uh, where they match and where they don't match. So in the case of tangerine and peach and cherry and banana uh, you can see that there's a matching row in both tables, but there's a null in the in the uh, field uh, for the for um, for fruit two, the table fruit two, and so we can see that if there's a null for the ones that don't match, then we can find uh, our our missing um, fruit that way. So we can say where uh, two dot fruit is null using our table alias and that'll give us a nice uh, list of the ones that uh, are in the first table but not in the second table and we can just get rid of the the field that has the null to give us just a nice list saying here we go Th these are the ones that uh, that are in the first table but not the second table and if we wanted to do the reverse to show what's in the second table but not in the first table, uh, we could do a very similar kind of query. Um, and uh, I'll just make a note here in, in fruit one list but not in fruit two list. And, uh, and that will, uh, will give us uh, some commenting on that. And if we want to do 
the reverse of those queries, we can uh, simply go ahead and copy um, the SQL from our first query and then we can just reverse the names of everything. So in order to do that, uh, we can paste that in um, and, uh, and then I'll, we'll add a comment on there as well um, to say, you know, uh, everything that's in fruit two uh, list that's not in fruit one list um, and that'll be our reverse query to the query we did in our first example and uh, so we'll say uh, not in fruit one list and uh, I'll go back here and put in a, a list so that it looks like the the top there oh and uh, there we go so we can uh, now we can change one to two and two to one. In our query, we can just go down and reverse the tables uh, and the aliases, just so you can see how this works uh, uh, from one table to the other. Uh, another way you could do is you could use a write join in some on some databases. Uh, uh, I like to always think of it in, in one way, so I almost always use a left join. And uh, so we change all of our ones to twos and twos to ones. And then if we select all of our uh, SQL here and hit our F5 key, we will get two results in our, uh, in our out output window. And we can see that uh, uh, we did get exactly what we wanted in the first list but not in the second list we have apple and orange and then if we want everything that's in the second list but not in the first list we have mango apricot and plum and uh, that is how you can do the first two queries which um, list one uh, ones that are in the first but not the other and then vice versa and then just for comparison's sake we could uh, paste in our same query and we could say that, uh, you know, look for ones that are in both lists because we might want to show that as well. And in that case, what we would do is we would uh, change our left join to an inner join. Uh, and uh, that inner join is going to make sure that everything that is returned, it, it represents uh, entries from both, both lists. And finally, we'll get rid of the where clause. Um, because we don't need that anymore. Uh, we just need to have our join where it's between um, the one dot fruit and two dot fruit. And we can uh, select that and run it. And you can see there are our four entries that match between the tables. So these are in both tables, banana, cherry, tangerine, and peach. And if we uh, select all three statements and hit F5, we can get all three of them into our SSMS uh, output window. And there we have it. We have our entries from the first list that are not in the second, all the ones in the second that are not in the first, and then we've got our list of four banana, cherry, tangerine, and peach, which are in both tables. And that is how you do list comparison in SQL Server and TSQL. I hope you enjoyed today's discussion about comparing lists in SQL Server. Uh, if you like what you saw today, please give the video a thumbs up and uh, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. And uh, make sure to ring the bell when you, when you see the bell after you click subscribe. And if you have any questions or comments, please make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have about the uh, content. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.